87. Today we're doing exercise 5D, which is compound events in single step experiments. So let's read through our dot points. When discussing probability, we often use a standard deck of 52 playing cards as an example. It is important to understand what cards are made up in a standard deck. Okay, so in class I've shown you this little picture before. Here is all the cards in your deck. There are 52 cards. In the four suits that we have, we have clubs, spades, hearts, and diamonds. Um, each of them go from the ace and then counting numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 before we go to jack, queen, and king. So each of those suits has 13 cards in it. Half of the cards are black, which means 26 black cards and 26 red cards. Okay, so keep that in mind. Have a, that picture that I've got there for you when we answer these questions. So part A, how many cards are in a standard deck? There are 52. Okay, so you'll need to memorize that. How many cards are red? So remember when we looked at that picture, half of the cards are red. And each row has 13 in it. So 13 plus 13 makes 26. So there's 26 red cards and there's also 26 black cards. How many aces are there? Well, that's these ones here. One, two, three, four. There's four aces down there. So four aces. What are the suits? So the suits are the pictures that are on each card. We have, at the top of the page, we had clubs, spades, hearts, then diamonds. So clubs, spades, hearts, and diamonds are the names of the four suits. Okay, part D, how many suits are there? And what are they? Well, that's a bit of a repeat. There are four suits. Okay, but we've already given the names up here. We probably don't need to write those again. Clubs, spades, heart, and diamonds. Question part E, how many cards are there in each suit? So if you looked at that picture, you could count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 along each row. So 13 cards in a suit. What are the court cards? Court cards are what we call these picture cards down the end here, the jacks, the queens, and the kings. So jacks, queens, and kings. So how many court cards are there? Well, there's three in each suit. And we have four suits, so three times four means that there is 12 court cards in the whole deck. H, in how many ways can you choose a card that is red or a seven? So if I want the probability that I get a red card or a seven. So if we have a look at the picture over here, the red cards, if I count them all up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, which we kind of knew because we knew it was half the deck. So twenty-six cards are red, but I also want to count on to that any other sevens. So I have twenty-six red cards. Plus, I have these two sevens um, to count as well. So 26, 27, 28. So there are 28 cards that are either reds or a seven. So probability is 28 cards out of the 52. And then we use our calculator to simplify that fraction. So 28 on the top over 52 on the bottom equals 7 over 13 as a simplified answer. Okay, on the next page. 
One card is chosen randomly from our deck of cards. What is the probability that it is red? So we know that there is 26 red cards in the deck out of 52. So we write our fraction down and then we simplify it. 26 over 52 is exactly half of the deck. What is the probability that it is not red? Well, if it's not red, that means it needs to be black. And there are 26 black cards out of 52, which also simplifies to a half. What is the probability of getting a club? Well, a club is one of those rows. There is 13 clubs in that row out of 52. We use our calculator to simplify. 13 out of 52 is 1 quarter. And now in D, we want the probability of not getting a club. Well, we can either count all the other three suits up, which is 39, and you could write down 39 over 52. But another alternative is if I know that I want everything except for this quarter, all I need to do is go 1 minus the quarter of the clubs that I don't want. And I could type that in. So 1 minus a quarter means that 3 quarters of the cards are not clubs. Part E, what is the probability of getting a 7? So looking at our cards, we have 4 7s. So 4 7s out of the 52 cards and don't forget to simplify it 4 out of 52 simplifies to 1 13th f the probability of neither a 7 nor an 8 well let's find the probability of getting a 7 or an 8 how many 7s or 8s are there so if i go back to here sevens and eights, these ones in here. There are eight cards that are sevens or eights. So we could do one minus the eight cards that we don't want. So eight cards out of 52. Okay, so that's finding the complementary event. We do one minus the probability of what we don't want, which is eight out of 52. Okay. And that makes 11 out of, well, I should do it before I simplify it. Let's first of all oh no, we'll just go 11 over 13. We won't worry about the second equal sign. We'll just use our calculators to do that. So 1 take away 8 over 52 is 11 over 13. Part G, a red ace. Having a look at our cards, there is two red aces over here. So probability is two out of the 52. So type that into our calculator, two out of 52, press equals, simplifies to one out of 26. Okay, H, we want the probability of a red card or an ace. I think we've done a question like this before. A red card, there is 26 of those, or an ace. So that means we want these two aces here as well. So 26 for the red, 27, 28 for the extra two cards. So that means that there is 28, whoops, try that bit again. There is 28 cards that are either red or an ace out of the 52 and simplifying 28 out of 52 equals 7 over 13. Okay, part 2 says, or the second part here, or part I, a red card that is not an ace. Okay, so we want it to be red, but not an ace. So out of the 26 cards that are red, we don't want these two aces. So there's 24 cards that we do want. So 24 out of 52, use the calculator to simplify. So 
6 out of 13. Okay, and that's it.